TPG reader Jonathan is a new business traveler. If I'm starting to fly and will uh, only hit low tier status at the 25K level, would you recommend AA, Delta, or United? Now, first off, let me say, so United and Delta have revenue requirements. So if you don't have one of their co-brand cards, you need to make sure that you're actually spending enough on Delta or United ticketed flights. We've written uh, in detail about what exactly qualifies uh, for those uh, revenue qualifying dollars, but it's definitely something to take into account. American does not have those same uh, stipulations. We actually value American uh, gold status higher than both Delta and United. United following and then Delta trailing uh, at the end. Now Delta and United do have complimentary upgrades where American will actually give you uh, E500 certificates where you have to save up and choose which flights you want to uh, get. That being said, frankly, these days, at the silver low tier level, upgrades are very hard to come by unless you're flying at way off peak times or super leisure routes. So um, all things considered, I would look at the routes from where you live, who's gonna save you the most time. Low level status uh, can pretty much be gotten by having a co-branded credit card, you know, the free check bag and even priority boarding uh, on some airlines. Um, Delta does make it easiest to get more elite qualifying miles with credit cards than the other two airlines. So a lot of different factors at play, but in terms of uh, low tier status, I would rank American United then Delta, but frankly, choose the airline that's going to allow you to maximize your time at home, not have to lay over as much or has larger, more comfortable planes because uh, I especially loathe regional jets. So. Hope that helps answer your question. Let us know what you decide to do. Uh, and if you have any other questions, tweet us at The Points Guy and like us on Facebook.